In this video I'm going to talk about using standard deviation information to describe uh, data, like where a data point actually falls. So in my theoretical universe that I'm dealing with here, I'm going to say that I have a mean value of 18. And I know that my standard deviation is, let's say, 4, something like that. So in this, uh, what I'm going to do is just make a little number line here. So 18 would be my mean. To do my standard deviation, I'll do plus 4 up here. So, so if I have uh, my setup numbers, Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Here's my uh, standard deviation uh, away from where it happens to be. That'd be one standard deviation above. And then here, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. It's another standard deviation out. I might call it two standard deviation. On the other side of it, one standard deviation away, two standard deviations away. So if I want to know specific information about a number, so say I want to know uh, where 22 falls or I want to know where 10 happens to fall. Well, 22 is one standard deviation above the mean. Uh, 10, however, is two standard deviations below the mean. So basically it just gives me a sort of a reference point to explain um, where information tends to fall. Usually uh, depending, it does depend on the distribution a little bit. Um, most of the data will fall somewhere between the two, uh, between two standard deviations away if it's a, a value that you're actually going to use. So you can get sort of a, like the 10 is way away from the mean. So that may be something that I sort of question whether I really want to use it in my analysis of the situation. Whereas 22 being one standard deviation above the mean may be something that I would consider uh, a pretty solid uh, you know, data point that's okay and safe to use if I'm doing a very specific uh, type of research. It just sort of depends on where you want to go with the information. But a lot of times you will have standard deviation pop up as being a, a tool that you can use to analyze where a point falls in the data set. So um, there it is.